Hello there, Pokemon trainers. This is Trainer Caller, and you're going to be watching another Wi-Fi Pokemon Battle video today. So, thank you guys for coming to this video. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like this video and subscribe. I appreciate it. Now, today's battle is against Nathan at code used to skink on Twitter. I'll put his Twitter handle in the description so that way you guys can follow him. He's a really cool person. He has a lot of things to talk about. He likes to Wi-Fi battle occasionally. Yeah, he's just a cool person. Why wouldn't you follow him? So, this is an OU match. I wanted to battle him again. Uh, I recall the last time we had a Wi-Fi battle. That was a little while ago. I think that was back in February. So, I wanted to make this an interesting battle. So I went and brought Wolverine, the Excadrill, Life Orb, and um, this thing does not have Stealth Rocks. We have a Mega Garchomp, that's Boeing, and then we have a Rotom Heat, Rotom Heat, this is Fahrenheit, an offensive variant, Kronos, the Malamar, a Dragon Dancing, Aqua Jet for Alligator and a Me First, a Me First Selgor. And this particular Selgor, a lot of people don't use this kind of set. So, I mean, I wish it had more usage, but uh, you, you, you can't. I don't know. But that's that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to try it out, okay? And we'll make it work. Me first to sell gore is something a lot of people should try. And yeah, so that's my team. The main facts on Nathan's side. Oh man, he's got a lot of them. He has access to Azumarill, Dragon Knight, Superior, Charizard, either Charizard X or Y, um, Gengar, and a Klefki. So I think the main facts are going to be Charizard. Superior, if I don't handle it properly. Uh, belly drum, Azumarill is a, is a common set, so we might see that. I don't know. Uh, Dragon Knight with multi scale and can try setting up Dragon Dances. That could be a set. And Gengar without going mega is also apparent. So this should be an interesting match. Uh, he's going to start with his. Oh, uh, Zoomerol, Pika Blue. Pika Blue. I know the theory about that because I went and searched up what is Pika Blue and I found out that this particular Pokemon is part Pikachu and part something else. I don't know. I know the theory of it, darn it. Uh, so we're going to start with Extra Drill here. And Extra Drill is going to go for Rock Slide. We actually hit Dragon Knight on its way in, which is actually really good because if you had multi-scale, we broke it. Um, I was expecting him to go with a Dragon Gas or something weird like that. I wanted to bait him into thinking I had a Will-O-Wisp, so I went with a Volt Switch. Spoilers, I do not have Will-O-Wisp. I have Overheat as my only Fire-type move. So we're going to go into McLaren here. McLaren is my Acelgor packing up a Focus Sash and we're going to use it to full efficiency. And now we're going to outspeed Dragon Knight. I was really happy to see that he does not have extreme speed. Uh, because if he did, he would be faster than me. We will not be able to use this awesome Asselgor using Outrage. Because he cannot learn Outrage. That's major style points there. But unfortunately for me, he has his Azumarill. He can go for Aqua Jet and uh, finish me off. And of course, Outrage. Being a dragon type means that Azumarill, being part fairy, is going to be immune to it completely. Now, I do make a mistake right here. I actually went into Feraligator. Uh, I really should have gone into Wolverine. I think I went into Azumarill or uh, Feraligator. Wow. I went into Feraligator to dodge the Aqua Jet. I wasn't sure if it's banded or what, uh, but we we kind of see it being choice banded in some way. 
uh, but we go into our Wolverine. I go for Earthquake, but we find out that this Klefki is packing Magnet Rise. And of course, Magnet Rise will dodge ground type attacks. So we're forced to use Iron Head, and that actually does a lot of damage. I'm really surprised about it. And now we're going to switch out of here, go into Boeing, because I know he's He's not going to go for a fairy type move. He's actually going to double switch again. And this time, he's going to go into Soldier, his Charizard. Now, as I mentioned earlier, he could be Charizard S or Y. And I thought it would, it would probably be Charizard Y because he does have access to Superior being a grass type who really appreciates the sunlight, being Charizard Y, that is. But we're going to see the true power of Charizard here in this battle. So Nathan makes a great play, goes with Dragon Dance first, and then he goes with the Mega Evolution. And we find out that it's actually Charizard S, which is kind of threatening. At plus one in attack and speed, he can pretty much sweep my entire team. So we lose Kronos, he didn't really do anything, which is unfortunate. But I do realize that an Aqua Jet from that range can finish off Charizard. So we'll go with a Aqua Jet, and he lives with like a smidgen of HP there. I was so shocked at the time of the match. I was like, really? What happened there? Uh, uh, Nathan told me that his Charizard has a weird EV spread, which allowed him to live that attacking move. Uh, so that sucks. Uh, we go into Wolverine for Death Fogger. Basically, if he has Fire Punch, then all that would be pointless. But he has Flare Blitz. So that means we are, we are able to take out Charizard which is fine by me, we get a double gown out of that situation. Uh, here is a Azumarill again, and I thought I could take a hit for some reason. Uh, I mean, granted, this is an offensive Fahrenheit, or I guess Rotom Heat, so and the fact that Azumarill might be, have the ability uh, huge power, so there was no way I could lose that. Now, my last Pokemon is actually Garchomp at this point. And uh, we do hit Gengar. Gengar does not have the greatest physical defense in the world. So we're, we're able to take him out with an Iron Head and a Dragon Claw. He actually missed a Will-O-Wisp, but that's not going to matter in the long run, simply because Azumarill can come in and just finished me off with a play rough. I was hoping for a flinch with the Iron Head, but that's only like a 30% chance. So that's the end of that awesome match. Thank you very much, Nathan. We have to battle again because we're epic rivals. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed the match, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment on what you like about this video, what I can improve on in the any area of the match or anything like that. Uh, and then, you know, subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles. All right. Have a great day, trainers. See you next time.